Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we have a battle against Jace, and he's got a very intimidating team, as you can see, very well balanced. So it's definitely going to be an uphill match for me, and we're going to go ahead and get into it. So, looking at the team preview, I was kind of thinking he was going to lead with the Pharaoh Thorn to get entry hazards set up early. So I decide to lead with my Beware Rupert, trying to make Stewie proud over here, but he actually ends up leading with the Milotic instead, which is no good for me. I have to switch out right away. I do not want to take any type of special attack from this thing. So I'm going to come in with my Tentacruel Squidward to try and absorb whatever he throws at me. And he just goes for the Scald actually, which is going to do barely anything to me, which is great. So. This turn, he is going to have to switch out. Not much else he can do to me. So he is going to come in with his Tyranitar. And the Sandstream is going to activate to set up a Sandstorm. And I just went for a Sludge Bomb here. So not going to do too much to this thing, unfortunately. And then I'm going to take some damage from the Sandstorm. So this turn, I am going to switch out. I don't want to lose my Tentacruel this early in the game. So I'm going to come right back in with my Beware. Uh, second time's a charm, hopefully, for this thing. And he actually goes for the Mega Evolution into Mega Tyranitar. And he just goes for a Crunch here, which is barely going to do any damage to me at all and uh, it looks like he actually took more damage from my rocky helmet than I did from the attack which is great for me uh, but I am going to take a little bit more damage from the sandstorm so uh, this turn he is going to go for the superpower he actually does carry that on there so that's going to take me down to about half it is going to cut his attack and defense and he is going to take more damage from the rocky helmet which is going to leave me in position to go for an earthquake uh, and that is going to be enough to take out the Tyranitar, which is great news for me. That is going to drop him down to five Pokemon. And I'm going to take some more damage from the Sandstorm. So then he's going to come in with his Ferrothorn, probably trying to scare me out uh, with the Iron Barbs. But I just decided to stay in and go for a Superpower, hoping I can one-shot this thing, uh, which I am actually able to do. I am max attack also with this thing. So um, I'm going to get my attack and defense cut, take damage from the Iron Barbs, but it is more than worth it to one-shot kill the Ferrothorn and drop him to four Pokemon. Those things can be very problematic. So uh, then he is going to come in with his Milotic. So at this point, there's no reason for me to try and risk a switch. Uh, Rupert did uh, definitely made Stewie proud, and this one did more than its fair share of work in this match. So I'm just going to let him go down to a Scald there and drop me to five Pokemon. That is going to be it for the Sand. And then I am going to come back in with my Tentacruel once again, which is again going to force him to switch, uh, this time into his Volcarona. And I just go for the Sludge Bomb yet again, playing it safe. So that is going to take him down by about a third. And I do get the Poison, actually, which was really nice. Um, so he is going to take some damage from the Poison, then dropping him to about half. So he is actually going to go for the Quiver Dance here this turn uh, to get a special attack, special defense, and speed increase trying to set up on me. Also, uh, probably... Uh, hoping he could survive uh, whatever attack I throw at him. But I go for the Scald, and I am actually max special attack as well on this uh, Tentacruel, so that is actually enough to take him out and drop him to three Pokemon. So then he is going to come in with his Dragonite, and I'm actually going to go for the Switch here. I don't want to get taken out by this thing, so I'm going to come in with my Charizard, and he actually just goes for the Dragon Dance rather than attacking to get his uh, plus one attack and speed. So again, trying to set up on me. So um, I'm going to go for the Mega Evolution here into Mega Charizard X. And uh, he does outspeed me because of the Dragon Dance. So he hits me up with a Thunder Punch, not knowing I am Mega X, which is not going to do 
a whole lot of damage to me. It is going to let me go for an Outrage, which is going to knock him into the red, but he does survive that, unfortunately. And that is also going to trip his weakness policy to uh, sharply raise his attack and special attack. So um, with that, he is going to go for the Outrage this turn, and that is definitely going to take out my Charizard and drop me down to four Pokemon. So then I'm going to go ahead and come in with my Azelf. Uh, I am focus sashed here, so I know really the only play I have is just uh, let him go for the Outrage again, which he is locked into, which is going to uh, knock me down to my focus sash. But I do survive because of that and go for a Psychic, uh, hoping or uh, knowing that is it is going to be more than enough to finish off the Dragonite and drop him down to just two Pokemon. So then he is going to come back in with his Milotic. And I'm just going to stay in here and go for a Thunderbolt, uh, trying to get as much damage as I can on this thing. That is going to knock him to uh, a little more than half, which was not too bad, uh, as he is going to go for the Toxic on me, just in case I decide to switch, I'm guessing. So that is going to poison me. He is going to regain some health with the Leftovers, and I am going to take... Uh, the damage from the Toxic, which is obviously going to finish my Azelf off and drop me to three Pokemon. So then I'm going to come back in with my Tentacruel. And I do outspeed him, so I'm going to go for the Sludge Bomb to get as much damage as I can on him. That is going to knock him to about a third. But unfortunately, he is going to go for the Recover, which is going to put him uh, back up to almost full health there uh, after the Leftovers recovery also. So uh, again, I am going to go for the Sludge Bomb here, just trying to wear him down more. Uh, that is going to take him down to a little above half. I even got the crit and still uh, not a lot of damage. He's going to hit me with a Scald. Not going to do much damage, but he is going to get the burn, which is unfortunate. Um, so he is going to regain some more health with the leftovers then, and I'm going to take some damage from the burn. So again, uh, I'm just going to go for the Sludge Bomb here, uh, trying to get as much damage as I can. That is going to knock him back to a third, but then again, he is going to go for the Recover here, uh, which again, after the uh, Leftovers Recovery, is going to put him back up to almost full health. So a uh, real uh, war of attrition here between the uh, special walls on the teams, as I'm going to take some more damage from the Burn. So uh, again, just trying to chip him away uh, with sludge bombs here, hoping for a poison, but uh, unfortunately uh, that is not in the cards for me right now. Um, he's just going to hit me with another Scald to uh, wear me down a little more and then regain more health with the leftovers as I'm going to take more damage from the burn. So yet again, um, I really am have no choice but to just go for another sludge bomb um, which is going to knock him below half but again he uh, knows that so he's just going to go for the recover which again after the leftovers recovery is going to put him to nearly full health and i'm going to take even more damage from the burn which is going to drop me down to about half of my health so um, same strategy uh, for this turn, uh, just trying to wear him down with the sludge bombs. Finally, I do get the poison on him this time, which is nice. Um, so he is going to hit me with another Scald, not going to do too much damage. And then he is going to regain more health with the leftovers yet again. And he is going to take damage from the poison this turn. And I am also going to take more damage from my burn. So uh, again, same play for me. Um, I really don't have any good switch out options as well. That's just kind of why I uh, keep going through this uh, cycle. I'm hoping that I can either uh, get a crit or maybe uh, just wear him down uh, with through this, um, this process, trying to take him out. Um, so that is just kind of the plan here for me, uh, seeing if I can outlast him. Although uh, because he has a recovery with a recover and I don't, um, that is, not looking great for me, but um, again, get to hit him with a sludge bomb. It does knock him into the red this time, but he does survive. Um, going to go for the recover yet again, uh, putting him back up to about two-thirds health. 
and he is regaining more health from his leftovers as well, taking some more damage from the poison, and of course I'm going to take more damage from my burn yet again. So that is going to knock me into the red this time with 27 health. So uh, this turn it was funny because uh, I actually ran out of sludge bombs. That's how long we were grinding this uh, out. So uh, the next best move I had for him was actually Dazzling Gleam, which is going to do even less damage. So uh, really just not a good situation uh, to be in for me at this point. Uh, he's just going to recover again, um, regain more health from the leftovers, take more damage from the poison, and I'm going to take more damage from the burn. So uh, I know this is my last turn with the Tentacruel finally, uh, so I'm going to hit him up uh, with the Dazzling Gleam one more time. Uh, not going to do too much. He is going to hit me up with the Scald one more time. Uh, again, not going to do too much. Um, he is going to regain the health with the Leftovers yet again, take his damage from the Poison. And this turn, the burn damage is finally going to be enough to knock my Tentacruel out and drop me to two Pokemon. So unfortunately, uh, old Squidward there just couldn't get it done in the uh, the war, uh, just ended up losing that one to my Lotic. So uh, finally, it allows me to do something different. I'm going to come in with my Bear Tick Polar. Uh, he is going to fire off a Scald, which is going to take me down by about a third. But that's okay. I'm going to hit him with a Super Power, which is going to drop him to the red. But he does survive that, unfortunately. Um, I am also going to get my Attack and Defense cut from that. Take some damage from the Life Orb. Uh, and then he is going to regain more health with the leftovers and take more damage from the poison, which leaves him just barely alive in the red. But fortunately for me, I do carry Aqua Jet, so I am going to go for that, which luckily is finally going to be enough to knock this Milotic out. That was unbearable trying to get rid of that thing. So uh, that is going to drop him to just one Pokemon. So his last Pokemon is the Mimikyu. He's going to come in with that. I'm going to go for the Aqua Jet here uh, just to go ahead and break the decoy. Um, so not really much else I could do with the Bear Tick with my stats cut. Um, so I'm going to take more damage from the Life Orb. He actually takes this opportunity to go for the Swords Dance to set up uh, the Sharp Attack increase, unfortunately for me. Um, this turn he does go for the Shadow Sneak. So uh, with the Swords Dance boost, that is going to be enough to finish off my Bear Tick and drop me to just one Pokemon. And unfortunately for me, my last Pokemon is my Palosand Sandy. So uh, he is definitely going to outspeed me, hit me up with the Shadow Claw, and uh, he actually gets a crit there. I'm not sure if that mattered or not because he was Swords Danced, um, but that is going to be enough to one-shot the Palosand, and that is game. So I did end up losing this one. It was a great match, very close, uh, very competitive, very grindy. Um, in the end, like I said, I'm not sure if the crit mattered or not since he was a uh, swords dance. Um, even if he, I did survive the attack, I'm not sure that I could have taken him out with uh, one attack myself, but uh, I guess we'll never know because he did get the crit and that did end up uh, closing the match up off but uh again great match nonetheless thanks for watching again everybody hope you all enjoyed please hit that like button leave a comment and or subscribe if you did enjoy and stay tuned for more new battles in the future also this is going to be the last battle that i upload with this team um i did have fun using it uh although it did not uh, really perform as well as I had hoped, but uh, it is time to go ahead and put that to the side and start using a new team uh, starting next video. I am almost done with that, so I should be rolling that out for you guys pretty soon. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.